In this section, we'll be covering the five elements of the above the fold content on a landing page. The headline of a landing page is like the subject of an email. It is the most important part. The headline should be the first thing people read and visually it should be the most prominent. So as you can see in this example, invest in gold, the headline jumps out and is very easy to read. Visually, it is the most prominent element in the landing page. The other important thing to remember is consistency. Because someone will usually click through on an email or an online ad or some other form of first impression before they land on the landing page, the headline should match the messaging from the email or the online app. So remember consistency. There's nothing more jarring than clicking on an online ad or email where the messaging is completely different to the headline of your landing page. This will cause very low conversion rates. So how do you write your headline? Your headline should include your unique value proposition. So this will usually come from your Lean Canvas. When you're creating your campaign from a strategic point of view, the Lean Canvas is one of the ways you capture what your offer is all about. Translating that unique value proposition into a headline is a really important part of creating your copy. You have to make it the most compelling part of your offer and then boil it down to something that's short enough to fit in the headline. The subheadline is a supporting statement or paragraph for the main headline. Visually, the subheadline is always less prominent than the headline. So in this particular case, the subheadline is get our free gold guide to learn how gold can protect your investment and retirement. That's a supporting statement to the headline, which is invest in gold. There's three ways to write a subheadline. This one in particular is a direct extension of the headline. So it's like finishing a sentence. In this particular example, the subheadline is the safest place for your online life, downloaded, organized, and searchable. In this case, the subheadline provides clarification about the primary headline. So that allows the primary headline to be very short and punchy. On its own, your library of you doesn't make too much sense. However, with the subheadline, it does. The final way to write a subheadline is extending the message by applying an additional persuasive message. So for example here, the headline is get documents filled out and signed online in minutes. And then the subheadline, contracts, forms, you name it, send for signature and save to Evernote, is an additional persuasive message. So that's the three ways you can write a subheadline. The hero shot is a visual representation of your offer. It could be an image or video. Its purpose is to persuade. So everything we talk about in terms of applying the principles of persuasion also apply to your hero shot. Because the hero shot can often be visually as important as your headline, it's critical that you choose the correct one. Here's an example of a landing page from Macquarie University. The target audience are recent graduates of high school. For their hero shot, they've chosen an attractive male model. However, when you look at the audience they're targeting, which is a mix of male and female, they would have been better off selecting an attractive female model. You must remember the principle of likability when you're selecting someone for your hero shot. In this example from a Florida hospital, they've chosen a hero shot to help people gain a better understanding of what their offer is. The landing page is about a heart valve procedure. What's great about this image is it makes it extremely clear at first glance that this is indeed an operation involving the heart and something inside the heart, which is the valve. So this hero shot will definitely help me in the understanding of what this landing page is about. A good hero shot should not only aid understanding of the audience as to what this offer is about, but it should also get customers to empathize and place themselves in a scenario where they're using it. This is especially true if your offer is about a product or service. In this particular example of a landing page from Take Lessons, what they've done is selected a hero shot which both describes the service, which is a tutoring service, and also Using attractive, engaging models, they attempt to get the audience to empathize and place themselves in the scenario. This is a good example of a hero shot, which both aids understanding and gets the audience involved and empathetic. Another good option for a hero shot is using the principle of authority. By selecting someone for the hero shot that is an authority figure or looks like an authority figure for your audience, this can help persuade the audience to convert. In this example landing page by Distilled You, they're using a hero shot of a guy in a suit that's obviously publicly speaking to a large audience. Even though I can't actually see the audience, everything is there in terms of the elements which make me believe that this is an authority figure. Great example of using the principle of authority. 
You should keep the header of your landing page relatively simple. Just include your company branding and perhaps a little bit of information about the company. Visually, it should not distract from your headline and your hero shot. Here's an example of a really bad header for a landing page. The reason it's really bad is that it has 19 links that might lead me away before I convert. And remember, the whole purpose of a landing page is conversion. The only link we want them to click is the call to action button. Therefore, we shouldn't have any links in the header or even in the main body of the landing page that distract from that and may take us away from converting.